families and friends. Thanks so much for joining me today for our Redfish Bluefish OT activity. Let's go over our supplies. First, we have some blank paper. We have some colored paper. We also have crayons or markers, glue. You can use a stick or liquid. And then optional would be some tape. And that's if you wanna help your child hold the paper down by using some tape. As the helper, I'll show you how the tape goes. I just put a little bit to keep it from moving here. I'm gonna start by making three dots on the page and form a triangle. This will be our fish. Then I'm gonna label those dots one, two, three. And that's just to help my friends find the sequence when making the triangle. So we can point those out. We have one, two, three dots. Now as the helper, I'm gonna make a dotted line between each point forming our shape. What shape is that, friends? It's a triangle, good. And now is a really good time to finger trace, to kind of get that feel for the shape for the lines that they'll be making before using the crayon or marker. Going from there, my friend would take a crayon or marker, holding close to the tip, using pinching fingers, and going boom on the page, helping feel when that crayon really touches. Tracing the triangle, going in order one to two, two to three, and back to the top. Nice job! That's a triangle. Good work. But it doesn't quite look like a fish yet. So we're going to turn our paper sideways and take our color paper. Here I have half a page, but I actually, as the helper, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Now from here, we're going to work with our child to help them tear small pieces. So I might kind of pre-tear and then your child would just pull a piece off, that works. Maybe just you holding it and then pulling a piece. Or if they can use both hands together, you can help them position their thumb and finger, pre-tear a little bit and then see if they can squeeze, pull apart. And that's right, squeeze, pre-tear, pull. So the goal is just to use those muscles in our hands and make some small pieces, enough to cover our fish. Once we have that, we can get our glue out. I'm gonna use the glue stick. So you have some options here, families. You can help your child either cover a large area and then put pieces on. Or if you have a little bit more time, you can work on the sequence of gluing. So where we put, put glue on, glue on. Glue, 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 stop. Take, take paper, trying to take one piece. Put on, push down, push. Good job. So having your child do as much as they can um, and I especially like the push down piece because we're working on finger isolation, pointing that finger. Sometimes our friends might use two fingers, maybe they use their thumb, um, you know, whatever works for them. And so we do just continue that sequence. Glue, paper, take, put on, push, push down. Nice! Until we have covered our triangle to make a fish. Here we go. Now from here, I like to talk about um, our, a little bit of body awareness. So, oh, a fish needs to be able to see. So what does he have? He has eyes. And then I ask my friends, friends, can you show me your eyes? And maybe I point to my eye and they point to theirs. And then together we give the fish an eye. And oh, fish need to eat. 
What do they eat with? Their mouth. Show me your mouth. My friend shows me their mouth. I can point to mine and then we give the fish a mouth and he's smiling. And there you go. That is our fish. So stay tuned for our bonus activity. That's next. Um, for this one, you can actually keep, you know, any leftover paper that you might have. We're going to get uh, some more blank paper and another color of color paper. So on the blank page as the helper, I actually made two fish, one red and one blue. So two different colors. Um, and what we're going to be working on here is matching uh, the color paper to the fish. If you have time, your child can color the fish. Um, and I love to be able to give choices. So let's color this fish. Is he red or is he blue? Oh yes, he's blue. When we're coloring, we use pinching fingers, hold paper, boom, color, 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 boom, color, color, color. Just trying to target the coloring to the picture. It does not have to stay in the lines and it's okay if we don't color the whole thing. That's a skill that we'll keep working on. And you can do that for both. And then from there, you already have your torn red paper. So you can repeat the same process for the other colors. Here it would be for the blue tearing either you or with your child so that we have a nice mix. And then from there, we would work to match. So we take one. Okay, take. Is it blue or is it red? <gasps> red! Same, same. And just placing onto the page. You could always also glue it on there, but um, and we would just repeat, kind of going through. Let's see, does it match? Oh, it does, blue, same, same, match. Until all of your pieces have been sorted. And then the activity is finished. So, good job. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope to see you next time.